Imagine a British politician who advanced a policy that the children of all immigrants to the UK should be forced to take Christian first names. And now imagine that the advancement of such policies, far from making him a pariah, actually made him hugely, dizzyingly popular. This isn't an abstract thought experiment. It's a true reflection of French politics right now and the remarkable rise of that man, Eric Zemmour. I'll come on to his policies in a second, but a point about his popularity first. In the latest surveys, he scores about 17% of the popular vote in France. To put that into context, Britain's Liberal Democrats score about half that number. He's not even said whether he'll run in next year's presidential election, but if he did, these polls confirm that he would be Emmanuel Macron's sole rival. And that if it came to a choice between him and the president, Macron would win. But it wouldn't be a walkover. The national vote would be split 55-45. That's the same number, coincidentally, of people who voted for Scottish independence, who say they'd vote for someone with convictions for hate speech. But consider this. When French electors were last surveyed about Zamor, 7% of them said he'd get their vote. That was only a month ago. Now he's polling 17%. As the French pollsters observed this week, a candidate has never been known to experience such changes in voter intentions in so short a space of time as we've seen with Eric Zemmour. So, who is he? He's a 63-year-old newspaper columnist who has shot to popularity for his punchy television appearances. What does he argue for? Well, he may be the son of Algerian Jews, but he blames North Africans for many of France's troubles, including what he alleges are a thousand violent crimes committed by immigrants every day. In some respects, he's quite left-wing, advocating widespread nationalisation and withdrawal from NATO, but on much else, he's to the right of Marine Le Pen's National Rally Party. He openly advocates the great replacement theory that says white Europeans are being replaced by newcomers, especially Muslims, who he describes as, quote, colonizers. Zamour wants a referendum on future immigration and on passant, says his country is heading for civil war. You might scoff, but in France, this doesn't make him David Icke. Earlier this year, 25 retired French army generals wrote an open letter to Emmanuel Macron warning him that civil war was coming. If he stands to be the French president, will he win next April? Probably not, almost certainly not. But like a new planet, his gravitational pull is having an influence on others. Presidential hopefuls like Michel Barnier, who strove, you'll remember, to keep Britain in the EU, have struck a noticeably more Eurosceptic tone of late. But his main impact may be on Marine Le Pen, if the polls stay as they are, he may bring about her political demise. But before the Liberals start cheering, that would probably mean her replacement by her young niece, Marianne Marshall Le Pen, and unlike anti-Marine, Marianne has not tried to make her views more middle of the road. Well, it may be that Eric Zemmour is a flash in the pan, but he's burning brightly right now. Thousands have been flocking to him speak in public. He's been compared to other populist politicians, most obviously Donald Trump, but the comparisons fall rather flat. Zemmour is erudite. He peppers his diatribes with literary and historic quotations. He's hard to place. Certainly Emmanuel Macron doesn't know whether to ignore him or denounce him. What's for certain is that our nearest continental neighbour is on a political roller coaster that makes Brexit look tame. That instability will affect us, probably, Already, relations between Britain and France are strained over fishing, defence pacts and channel migrants. If Macron decides he needs to curry favour with French nationalists, if he feels it necessary to wrap himself in the tricolour to win votes from Zemmour, we should brace ourselves here. Bashing Brexit Britain is a quick and easy way of proving his patriotic credentials. That's the brazier angle.